Youngstown was a steel town at one time. Everybody made a living here through the steel mills. Homes were built and college educations were funded through the mills. Now, they're all gone. No more mills. Youngstown, Ohio, in the heart of America's Rust Belt, a city which has yet to recover from its economic collapse in the 70s. Economically, there's nothing here. Youngstown is trying right now to rebound. It's going to be a, a lot of work. I mean, we, we've been down for so long. It was such a proud city, one of the leading cities at one time, and it is no more. But pride in local boxing endured, peaking during Ray Boom Boom Mancini's heyday in the 80s. It continues today with Kelly Pavlik, a kid who grew up like most boys in this blue-collar mill town. My mom worked at a, a restaurant, and my dad uh, worked at the steel mills. I played baseball, football. I played basketball down at YMCA. Kelly was a great athlete. Whatever he did, it, it just seemed to come natural to him. Michael, my oldest brother, was actually really, really good at uh, baseball, and my brother Ricky was a really good baseball player. So, of course, being the youngest, you know, you just want to follow everything that they do. You want to be as good, if not better. Three boys never get along in the same house. They love each other to death, but they'd, they'd fight with each other, just go to war. That's what made me, I think, a little tough. Them beat me up all the time, but they also loved me and also watched over me and protected me too, so and taught me a lot of things. The familial toughness and the need to compete with his brothers led to the youngest Pavlik's penchant for fighting. In the early 80s, a whole bunch of karate movies were coming on. So we took him to a karate studio, and it just didn't work out. There wasn't enough contact. Um, it was kind of, kind of boring, and I kept begging my mom and dad, let me go down to the boxing gym. I want to, you know, you let Michael and Ricky go down there and box. Let me go down. The very first day he went there, that was it. I mean, he's been there ever since. It, it was just an instant love affair. My mom, it was really hard for me to get her to bring me down here. Um, my dad wasn't very, very happy with the, the idea of me coming down here but they never forced me out of the sport. And they thought that uh, eventually I would get tired of it and you know, it was a little phase that I was going through. That little phase is now a lifelong passion. For the past 16 years, the Southside Boxing Club has been Pavlik's second home. Kelly came in the gym, he was a ballsy kid. He took numerous, numerous butt kickings. And um, he'd leave here t-shirt bleeding, blood, you know, all bloody and uh, you knew he, you knew he was a tough kid when he come back. And you get in there and you get beat up and you get to punch somebody else and you know beat them up and it was just that contact, the one-on-one -on -one aspect of it that I uh, fell in love with. Harnessing Pavlik's raw ability was a job for Jack Lowe, a full-time asphalt sealer who also owned a local boxing gym. I'm up at 5:30 in the morning getting ready to go out to work and do some driveways. Now then I, I'll take a break and I go run Kelly and then he goes home and I go back out and do driveways till it's time to come to the gym. Jack Lowe has been with Kelly since he's been nine years old. He knows what Kelly feels. He knows what to say to Kelly, what not to say to Kelly. Uh, they almost know what each other's thinking. This is a big dream come true. Um, you know, everybody, whether you're a football coach, baseball coach, basketball coach, or boxing coach, you know, you hope that one kid walks through the door, but you never really think it's going to happen. You know, you just hope. And I was fortunate. Kelly has stuck with me, and I think we got a good thing going. That's it. That's it. Stepping down. Under Lowe's watchful eye, an undefeated knockout artist has emerged. Kelly Pavlik has a huge knockout victory. It don't look like I hit that hard on, on film, you know, or that I'm that strong. I do have power. I mean, uh, the knockouts, you know, come along with it. He's a strong-willed, sturdy fighter with an asphalt sealer as his trainer. No wonder the people of Youngstown can so closely identify with Kelly Pavlik. People are happy to see something going well. Youngstown's rebounding and gradually, you know, getting better. People are, are happy to see, you know, what I'm doing with the area, and uh, they support me, and it, and it makes a big difference when you have a lot of fans behind you.